Nothing pleases me more than to be outside looking for snakes in their natural habitat. Or in a pile of garbage, as the case may be. Wherever there are snakes, well, that's where you'll find me. It's a pretty big milk snake. Right underneath all these uh, pieces of wood. Now somebody has discarded this wood. It wasn't useful to them. They've thrown it out here. And uh, now this wood acts as a really great place for snakes. Hi everybody, my name is Brock and you've just joined me on a snake hunting expedition. I always love to get out and look for snakes. Uh, this is the uh, eastern milk snake. One of the more common snakes in Ontario. Uh, this is a particularly dark uh, specimen. And you can see how well camouflaged he is. Just blends in with all those dead leaves down there. And he disappears. Well, this is going to be a good show, I can just tell. We're going to go all over Ontario and see uh, if we can't find all 15 snake species. That's right, 15 of them. And uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of hard work. We're going to have to uh, really uh, pull out the big guns trying to find some of these snakes. But uh, I think it can be done. And anyway, we'll give it the old college try. So join me. We're going to see Ontario's snake species. This is Ontario's second largest snake, the eastern fox snake. I found this one keeping warm in an old cross-country ski shed. There it is. Really? That's a big fat snake right there. That's the smelliest snake I've ever heard. Look at the size of this snake, people. He's, a, he's really big. Now this particular fox snake was certainly non-aggressive and, and definitely non-venomous. But in my experience, they will bite if they feel threatened, and who can blame them for that? In Ontario, our only venomous snake is the eastern Massasauga rattlesnake. We're out here looking at the rattlesnake. Chantel's over here with the light. Hot summer nights provide your best opportunity to find these little animals on old country oh, roads. The car. We'll take it off the road. Put it right there. In there. Unfortunately for many snakes, roads, for whatever reason, seem like a great place to hang out. And as you can well imagine, it's not really a good idea. I hear a big truck or something barreling down the road. Yeah, it is. Go and be free. Fox snakes, like rattlesnakes, will vibrate their tails when threatened, but they lack the segmented tail tip that makes the rattling sound. This is the northern ringneck snake, a beautiful but underrated Ontario species. It's a smooth scaled snake as you can see, and that's very different from some of the rougher textured keel scaled snakes. Ringnecks are a nice slate gray coloration and they have, as their name suggests, a ring around the neck that's outlined in black. And underneath we find a very pretty creamsicle orange coloration. Ringneck snakes are gorgeous, and they're definitely one of my favorites. Deer flies and horse flies. Things are okay. Now the ringneck snake is pretty small, but Ontario's smallest snake is the northern red-bellied snake. Their young, born live, can be a mere two and three-quarter inches at birth. The northern brown snake is also fairly small. This one is a baby. The adults, obviously, are a little bit bigger. The one in my hands here is one of the largest I've ever seen. Brown snakes feed largely on snails by pulling the mushy parts out of their shells. They are quite secretive snakes and they're usually not seen out in the open. By contrast, the most commonly seen serpent in Ontario is the eastern garter snake. There's a lot of variation within this species, like this bright red coloration you see here, and the black specimen I have in my hand. Generally, it could be described as a black snake with three yellow stripes on the back. And although this snake may fit that description, it is another species altogether. Eastern ribbon snakes have cream-colored cheeks and much longer tails. Can you find the snake in this picture?
Don't adjust the color on your set and know you're not in some tropical rainforest. The smooth green snake is the jewel of Ontario snakes. Relatively common, but seldom seen. It's easy to see why the smooth green snake usually goes undetected. Animals of all types have amazing ways of protecting themselves, and snakes are no exception. Like some cobra of the north, the eastern hognose snake flattens its hood in order to look more impressive. And as if that's not enough, sometimes the hognose will roll over onto its back, writhe about as if in pain, and play dead in order to give predators the slip. It's very convincing. Hognose snakes are also interesting structurally because of the upturned rostrum or snout. Because of its stout body and pattern, the hognose snake is often mistaken for the eastern Massasauga rattlesnake. Milk snakes are often misidentified as rattlesnakes as well. Juvenile water snakes are heavily patterned, and so are young black rat snakes. Even fox snakes have a pattern, and all are confused from time to time with the rattlesnake. But the rattlesnake is the only serpent in Ontario that has the segmented tail tip, the one that produces the rattling sound. While young black rat snakes may bear a superficial resemblance to rattlesnakes, well, the two aren't found in the same part of the province. As they mature, the pattern disappears and they earn their name, black rat. They're the largest snake in Canada, reaching lengths of around 7 feet. While they do love to eat rats, they're also excellent climbers and will not hesitate to climb a tree in order to catch a bird for lunch. Identifying snakes can sometimes be a challenge. This water snake is pretty dark, and so locals often confuse it with the black rat snake. But you can see it's more brown than black, and it also won't get to be nearly as big. They do spend a lot of time in the water and eat a lot of aquatic creatures, including frogs. I don't recommend picking up a water snake unless you want to be bitten. They're known for being ornery. Yep, the snakes of Ontario. So many colors, forms, and patterns, and lots of interesting behavior. What's not to love? But I know what you're thinking. That's only 12, and I promised you 15. Sorry, but the search still continues for me. And this photo is all that I have to remember my encounter with the elusive queen snake. If you can tell the difference between this threatened butler's garter snake and a common eastern garter snake, well, you're a better man than I am. Another snake that has proved difficult to find is the blue racer. This is not the blue racer, this is the black racer, a subspecies, and one that I found in Florida. In Canada, the blue racer is found only on Pelee Island in Lake Erie. The two snakes are very closely related, and so for now, anyway, this snake will have to do. The fascinating world of snakes. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little journey into Ontario's wilds to find these amazing animals. I always do. Anytime I can get outside and look for these incredible creatures, I'm happy. Snakes are by and large pretty secretive animals, so you might not see them every time you go out. But if you keep your eyes peeled, if you know what you're looking for and you know when to look, well, you just might find some amazing Ontario serpents. Thank you.